Hey. Hello, my top five favorite listeners. My name is Kyle Kohler, and this is Kyle's top five favorite podcast. Uh, I took a little bit of time off because uh, I started immediately receiving royalty checks uh, for my podcast. Um, you know, I don't know if anyone heard, but I have officially hit uh, 30 views on one of my videos. Um, I. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm blown away by the amount of success. Apparently, I'm the slowest podcast ever to get to 30 views. And, uh, you know, that's a that's a title I'm proud to hold. Uh, thank you to all of the 30, and it's probably more like 23 different people who listen to it and have listened to all my other podcasts. Uh, I know most of you, and I just want to say thanks, guys. It's very cool. Uh, let's see. This week, I'm going to be doing... Uh, I'm back at home. I'm not on location anymore. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the top five uh, most anticipated TV shows of the mid-year season. Uh, that is the season kind of uh, as the first winter season of television wraps up um, with shows like Shameless and Better Call Saul coming to an end. Shows like Girls and uh, Man Seeking Woman have already ended. Broad City has already ended. It's time now to talk about the next season coming up. Um, and these are traditionally shows that air um, April to mid June, late eight, late May, mid June. It's a um, kind of the summer, uh, spring summer um, season. And I've got a couple of really cool shows, but today's episode is going to be brought to you by something kind of cool and kind of weird. Um, if you go on Indiegogo and you type in the name Patrice O'Neill, a uh, crowd fundraiser thing comes up where you can donate money to get a documentary made about the comedian Patrice O'Neill, who is a massive icon of mine, uh, a guy who I will argue is probably the funniest person uh, that was ever alive and is a genius and they wanted his girlfriend Vaughn wants to make a documentary about him and so go on Indiegogo type in Patrice O'Neill and uh, give a couple bucks I know I am I'm gonna get myself a Patrice O'Neill t-shirt I'm gonna wear it all the time so let's dive into the top five I got a pretty cool list here I I am gonna kind of make up the order as I look at them I haven't made up the order quite yet I'm gonna do it on the fly but I've got a pretty decent um honorable mention list and a couple of things uh just to watch out for that are gonna be happening on television in the next couple weeks uh, let's see here. My number five show that I'm most looking forward to seeing uh, here soon is a new show that's going to be on FX um, called Comedians. It's starring Billy Crystal and Josh Gad. Josh Gad, uh, you'd know him if you saw him. He was uh, he played the main character on Book of Mormon. He was Steve Wozniak on that really shitty Ashton Kutcher, Steve Jobs movie. Um, but he's a really good actor. He was also the snowman in Frozen, if any of you give a shit. Uh, and he's a good actor. I'm really excited to see what he's going to do with Billy Crystal, and they're supposed to be comedians. I don't know too much about the show, um, other than the previews I've seen look funny and look kind of um, kind of a Curb Your Enthusiasm type where Billy Crystal's kind of playing himself, and that should be pretty funny. Um, so check that one out uh, on FX. That's Comedians on FX Thursday, 10 p.m., um, right before Louie. My number four most anticipated show that I'm looking forward to seeing um, is my one of my fave babes of comedy. Her, I think it's her fourth season, Inside Amy Schumer, um, is so funny. It's it, And I, this is, I think, when it's going to really hit uh, big time. She's uh, become a big household name. She's very funny, and her show is going to be great. I know I've been listening to a lot of the writers on her show, uh, talk about it, and they say that she's great to work with, and and she's really funny. Um, so check that out. That's on Comedy Central's on Comedy Central uh, at 10 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, Inside Amy Schumer, funny show, definitely worth watching. She kind of does the Nick Kroll thing where she has a couple of different main skits and kind of the Key and Peele thing where she has a couple of different main skits, but then she'll throw in something new, and she's kind of always doing stand up in the process. Her stand up's hilarious. Um, and she's, I think she's adorable. I think she's really, really hot. Um, so there's a couple of shows coming out that I am, um, kind of interested to see what they do. Like I had said, comedians, it's a, it's a new show. It's a show that's going to be starting up 
And that's the only show in my top five that isn't already on air, that isn't already had a season under its belt. Um, but there's a couple of other shows that are coming out that I kind of am excited to watch and to see what they do. On uh, Showtime, I think it debuts on April um, 7th, is uh, Happy-ish on Showtime. Uh, it's got a pretty cool cast. Steve Coogan, who you would recognize. These are all people who you recognize if you saw them and you'd like them. Catherine Hahn, she's with, uh, she's kind of been in, uh, she's an anchor man. She's really funny and it looks like a really interesting concept and a cool idea um, and something that I am kind of interested to see. I like Showtime. I like what they do. And this looks like kind of a cool story about a guy who doesn't give a shit about Twitter and he's kind of at that age of, of uh, uh, an old dad and he's just kind of, the world is changing so much around him. Kind of excited to see what that does. Um, another show that I'm excited to see that I don't know anything, that, that I don't know too much about actually premiered tonight and that's Big Time in Hollywood, Florida on Comedy Central. Um, looks pretty funny. Ben Stiller is producing it and, uh, you know, what's not to love about kind of two uh, weird dudes in a weird place like Hollywood, Florida. So uh, that should be pretty funny. Um, and then... Uh, Marin is going to be on IFC, I think, on May. It's co- that doesn't come out till May, but that should be really great. He's a great uh, guy. His show is funny. His show is. You've, you listen to this podcast, you heard me talk about how great and funny that guy is. Um, so watch out for Marin. My number three show that I'm most excited to to watch this upcoming season is a Juggernaut. It's one of the bigger shows of all time. It's a show that's it's all, it's about to have its last season, and I've watched it from the get go. And I think it's great, and that's Mad Men. This is going to be the end. This is the they're they're really doing a great job with marketing it with the end of an era, which is what Mad Men is. It's an era, and this is the end of the era. I'm kind of excited to see how do you end a character like Don Draper. There's so much detail in that character, and there's so much stuff going on. How do you end that character? You know, you think about Walter White in, in um, Breaking Bad was a great character, but I would argue he wasn't as complex as Don Draper is. Don Draper is just a a big, big, uh, complicated man who has a whole lot of stuff going on. And right now with where they're at with him, everything is so messed up and weird. And, and it, how do you end that? How do you end, um, how do you end that era? So check out, uh, Mad Men. It's on AMC. It's on Sunday. Uh, I believe the first one is April 5th at 10 PM. Uh, it's probably gonna win like four, uh, Emmys. So watch that. Uh, my number two show uh, is a guy who, if you know me, you know that I, I just think he's probably the funniest person of our generation, and that's Louis. Uh, Louis C.K., his show is called Louis. Um, it's on FX. It's on Thursdays at 10.30, blah, blah, blah. The reason I like Louis, he is truly a man who uh, is uh, a fat, weird looking guy who uh jerks off a lot but yet he's still a good guy and i think he this show which is probably winding down he's probably this is his second to last season maybe his last the way that his deal is set up with fx but can't wait to see what he does and he's done such a great job with the show as far as showing what it is to be that guy um you know the women in his life and how he's a good dad and and how he interacts with people. I know that there's whenever I watch the show Louie, I'll be living my life and I'll go, man, I just feel like I was in a, a scene in Louie because of a weird interaction I had with someone who works at my bank or because of, of, of someone I had to deal with at a, at work. You know, there's always just like these th- little things that happen and you have this, this little inner laughter and you kind of go, that's just the same thing that Louie does. So Louie, my number two show. I'm most excited to watch. And I know that that seems weird. Kyle, you're a massive Louis C.K. fan. Why would you not put Louis at number one? Because I'm actually not the most excited to watch the show. I know what a show is going to be. I know it's going to be great. I know it's going to be awesome. I'm going to watch it. Can't wait to see it. But at my number one spot is a show that I loved so much. And last year was its first season, and it was an excellent. It was an excellent, excellent show. Its second season is about to start. Can't wait to watch it. And that is Silicon Valley. It's on HBO. It's Sunday nights at 10 p.m. This show is great. So damn funny. T.J. Miller, 
uh, is a brilliant, brilliant comedian on that show. He's been in Hollywood for a long time. He's, he's kind of paid his dues. He definitely uh, is a guy who, the reason he's so great is because you can tell he's kind of earned that spot. Um, it's such a good show. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, it's funny, and the way they ended it last year was so good. It's it's uh, the the storyline is going to be excellent, and the kid and I'm not very good with the names of the rest of the cast in that show, but the kid who plays kind of the main character is such the perfect guy for that role. Whoever cast on that show is brilliant. The writing is fantastic. It's funny. It's uh, it's dude humor, but it appeals to women. I think that because it kind of has the same thing as in Louis, where these guys are kind of scummy dudes but they're not bad guys they're good dudes at heart <clears throat> very funny lots of weed um jokes and lots of funny shit on that show uh so recap amy schumer number five excuse me comedians is at number five amy schumer was four Mad Men was three louis is two silicon valley is number one uh, check out those shows. Keep checking out my podcast. Also, Justin Bieber's getting uh, roasted on Monday, March 30th. I'm going to watch the hell out of that. I feel like it's going to be hilarious. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. My name is Kyle Kohler, and this is Kyle's top five favorite 